Welcome back, everyone. So if you've ever wondered how some of Hollywood's biggest legends hit such perfect notes, it's likely because of our next guest. He's worked with some of the greatest entertainers and public speakers around, helping them develop their voices, even saving a few careers along the way. His client list includes just a few names you may recognize. Whitney Houston, Paula Abdul, Lenny Kravitz, Muhammad Ali. Yeah, you get the picture. Now you too can learn the secrets to their success. We welcome live via Skype, the ultimate voice builder, Mr. Gary Katona to the show. Hello. Greetings, good to see you. And good to be seen. So the, the interesting thing is you didn't set out to become a vocal coach. This is something that you stumbled across in your path, and now you're just the bomb.com. Tell us about that. I wanted to become a singer originally, but I had such bad training, I ended up trying to do it for myself. And it ended up creating a system that I call voice building, which is completely different from what everybody else does, based upon the idea of, the, of building the voice as though it's built up, it's made up of muscles. Well, so Gary, you said you have a system. So does that mean any of us can develop a great voice? Mm. That's right. Think really? Think of singing like a sport. Think of it like a sport. In the same sense, you exercise certain muscles to accomplish your task. And singing is building the muscles of your voice, which enables you to sing or speak better. So let's talk about the, the theory of most people think that because, you know, you're a person of a larger size that you can sing. What are your thoughts on that? Repeat, I, I can barely understand what you said. Say it again, please. What are your thoughts on those people that think that because if you are a larger sized person that you can sing? You said an oversized person? Uh, yes, oversized, larger size, whatever, yes. No, it's nothing to do with it. You could be very skinny and have a very mm -hmm. big voice. And, and today, for example, a lot of the opera singers, you, you cannot really be overweight to, to any great extent and become successful in opera. You have, to, you have to look good, too. In the old days, it was different. Now, you have to look good as well as sing well. Gary, you've coached some of these big performers in the business. Did they all have great voices? Or were there some that were bad and you really worked at it and, and brought the best out of them? I, I want to hear some stories. Well, I can't, I can't name any names. But I will say that some people who have come to me, uh, they were not very good, and they developed uh, really good voices by building the voices. All this came, we were already good, and we made the voices even better. So I have to ask about Whitney Houston, because I think people make an assumption that she was naturally gifted as a singer. Um, would you agree with that? How much work did it take to make Whitney Whitney? Well, you know, she began in gospel. And if you know anything about gospel singing, it's very athletic kind of singing. So think, of, again, with the sport analogy, think of it like that. Because she sang gospel music when she was a young girl, it helped develop her vocal muscles. That plus her natural gifts resulted in the amazing Whitney Houston's voice. Is there somebody out there in the celebrity world um, you would love to work with you haven't worked with yet? Like somebody really bad Me. you want to fix? Me. <laughs> <laughs> somebody really bad I want to work with? Yes. Oh, there are lots of those people. Can you name one? Yeah, you know, you know, singing, singing today is, is not what it really should be. And a lot of it is, is the fault of technology, which allows people to cheat. So you, you could sing off pitch and they fix the pitch. You could, you, could, you could screw up the phrasing of the song and they fix the phrasing. So it's easier to cheat today. So you have a, you have a, a plethora of people who are, who are not great singers, but it sounds as though they're good singers. So, Gary, you actually have a new program, a ultimate voice builder program that you're going to be helping, you know, anyone. Tell us more about your program. Yeah, the ultimate voice builder is a really good uh, aid to building your voice. And people love it. And it was in the top 100 around the world in, 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 in music, um, in, in music uh, DVDs. It's fantastic. It really helps you build your voice. And uh, if you're interested in, in, in having a bigger, stronger voice with a bigger range, a more beautiful voice, I'd recommend the ultimate voice player. Now, is this something that needs to be done in person with you, or are we using technology to actually take the class? Can I Skype in? Say it one more time. I can't hear you. Do I have to be present with you in order to take this class, or can we use technology to make it happen? Well, I, I, half of my students now are on Skype, believe it or not, because I teach, I teach people from all over the world. So I get calls from Australia, from, from Asia. Uh, from Australia, and we do we we, we, you know, we fix up the, the time frame, and we have lessons through Skype. 
Well, Gary, how do you feel about all of these voices nowadays? And you know, like a Britney Spears or um, <laughs> Justin Bieber, and they use all of the technology, so they're not really singing to the best of their ability. They've got a little bit of backup that's helping them. How do you feel about that? Well, I view those people mostly as entertainers. C compare that to a Whitney Houston, for example, who stands there, this incredible voice comes out. You don't need to be entertained other than the, being entertained by her voice. A lot of people, and I'm not criticizing them, I mean, entertainment's very, very important. A lot of, lot of um, entertainers just entertain. They sing and they dance, and the singing is okay, the dancing is good, and they just, it's an overall experience of being entertained. It did not necessarily would you consider singers in the same sense as a Whitney Houston or Andrea Bocelli or, or Tony Bennett. Hmm. Well, thank you so much, Gary. We certainly appreciate you joining us today, okay? Thank you. All right, my pleasure. Take care. And if you'd like to learn more about Gary's website, ultimatevoicebuilder.com is where you should visit. All right, coming up next, now that the eclipse has passed, some may be wishing that they'd follow the warning signs to not look to the sun without those glasses. Dr. Wells is here, and she's going to tell us what to do next. Stick with us. We'll be right back.